Yo, ratings! This is Garth RS, the Tireless Adventure, with another episode of StarMate Tutorials, where I'm going to cover weapon grouping. Now, uh, for the base, for the base of these three right here, I used ten, ten weapons. So let's go over here to the first one, which I've labeled aptly the line. We'll enter here, and we'll hit T. When we go right into wep our weapons computer, we'll notice it's eighty. 416, 487, 423. Now that's important because what we're going to be testing today is the shape of our weapon. So right here we have a line of 10. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, that's right. Alright, so there is a line of 10. And because we've heard that sometimes you got to go along an axis, sometimes you're going to group them, sometimes you put them in straight lines. We've heard several things. So what we're going to do today is we're either going to prove or disprove the theory. Now, Pro tip, I already know the answer. <laughs> uh, okay, so anyway, so we have the line, and we have those numbers. Remember, they are 23. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the, da the, the damage is 80. The distance is 416. The reload is 487, and the speed is 23. So we go over here to the next one. Which Am I, am I still in build mode? I am. Okay, so let me get out of build mode. Did you see me for a second? Did you see me for a second? That's pretty awesome. Where'd he go? Okay, I always go in the wrong direction. It's funny, though. All right, so we'll come over here and we'll use the three axis. We have X, Y, and Z axis represented here. Now, I've heard that this axis represents damage, and this axis represents firing speed, and this axis represents reload. I've heard all these things, and the total number affects the speed. So let's go ahead and enter this ship, and we'll see if our numbers are any different. All right, so last time we had 80, 416, 487, 23. 80, 416, 487, 23. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be any different. That's strange, because we have the three axes represented there. What, what, is the, what is the problem? What could possibly be the problem? Well, maybe it's block formation will give us our best bet. A block formation will give us our best bet. Now, this, again, this is 10. It's a 2 by 2 with 2 on top, just like that. So let's see. This is, remember, we were 80, 416.5, 487, and 23. So let's go ahead and enter this. We'll hit T. Go to weapons computer and we'll, oh what this is slightly better this is crazy slightly better 83.9 why is oh somebody accidentally clicked that that was my fault i must have clicked that when i was tabbing in and out anyway so it's 80 416.5 47 23 i was gonna say man that screwed up my whole freaking idea for an episode i was gonna like oh i'll play it like i'm super smart and now i just look stupid no but Seriously, they were all the same. Regardless of what shape, form, or function that we put into those puppies, uh, they were all the same. So we had the, the damage of 80, distance of 416, reload of 487, and I'm going the wrong way, and a uh, speed of 23. So that was pretty much right across the board. That's the oh, yeah, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. All right. Um, we're going to talk about that one in a moment. I'm just going to fly for a week. Give me a sec. And I'm not cutting that out either. I want you to watch that journey. Because it's my ignorant butt that built it all way out here. Alright, so anyway. So what we have here is we have 20. We have 20 in a line. Since we've already proven, uh, in my opinion, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the shape of your weapon array doesn't matter. So let's just go ahead and prove um, the number count. Uh, you know, okay, so if I add, you know, if I add 3 in this array, what are going to be my numbers? So let me just let me just tell you this right here. Okay, at one, I'll just we'll just go with damage, and we'll just assume that everything goes up a little bit. Okay, at one we have 23 damage, then we have 35.8, then we have 43.8, then we have 50.6, 56.6, blah 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 blah, all the way out to 113.1. Now you're like, wow, that's 20, and you only get 113. It didn't seem. It seemed like it was going to increase more than that. Well, uh, I'm going to insert uh, something here for you guys to see. But effectively, it's it'll be a chart of your benefit by adding one. So this one all by itself was 23, and this one right here was 35.8, which gave us an increase of 12.8 damage for one single solitary. Uh, addition to the, the weapon array. However, the very next addition only gave us eight. 
and the very next edition only gave us 6.8 and then 6 and then 5.4 and then 4.9 and 4.7 as you can see the number cons considerably goes down until you get to the number 20 which was a 2.8 increase over number 19 so that shows you beyond the shadow of a doubt that the more you add the less benefit you get from them and i'm sure there's going to be a point where the benefit is almost negligible uh i didn't i didn't really plot that out uh, because i didn't want to sit there and place one look at the weapon place one look at the weapon place one look at the weapon. because i'm entering all this in in a, in a spreadsheet program <coughs> um that i paid for anyway so so what we have here is basically a ship with 20 weapons right 20 20 weapons mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and did I, go, I didn't enter it which gives me a total of 113.1 damage so where was my other ship and so so let's come over here to this one where I did a little experimentation and I haven't I haven't tested this so we're gonna learn it together um, but effectively this is just a ship with I believe it's 36 individual weapon arrays because they're none of them that are connected so let's check it so it was one two three four five so 11 and 11 is 22 28 34 so 34 right here 34 weapon arrays so let's come in here we'll enter this <clears throat> and we'll look and see what each weapon array is good for all right 25.3 so let's just do some rat math real fast so we have 34 weapon arrays each one does 25.3 damage that will give us that times that for a grand total of 860.2 damage per fire now the downside of having a single unit is the speed is low speed is not low reload or is the not the speed but the reload is really really high at let's see if i can carry that out looking at reload at 20 reload at 20 was 387 so you can imagine it'll probably be a whole lot better than that and the reload on here is 654 so it's it's at 20 it's already half so reload it'll fire faster um i just hit my volume knob on my headphones all the time it drives me crazy but as you can see yeah whatever every time everyone's probably hit the wrong button let's just fly it over something something that we can blow up you know what let's blow that up all right and we'll just see what happens when we when we shoot weapons computer number one there we go now when we shoot this we're gonna get a whole bunch of beams but they may concentrate on my on my uh, reticle here so you may only see one number but we've already shown that it's 25.3 per, per array um, that was a pretty nice little bit of damage um, 25 that's 860 damage from a single click of the button uh, but here's when I hold it down not super fast not super fast at all however look at the look at the damage we can wreak here i'm pretty sure i'm gonna i'm gonna see this here look at that you see that damage now anybody with shield regen anybody with shield regen is going to be able to regen individual hits uh quite quickly but when 34 points uh, points of damage come in i'm sorry 34 different points of damage come in and each one's carrying 25 hit points worth of damage then it's probably going to be pretty uh pretty impressive overall and the shield's gonna be like ow that hurt what are you doing dude <laughs> that, jerk move. that was a jerk move so what i'm going to do as far as the weapon groupings go is i'm going to go ahead and make that make make the assumption here which is kind of dangerous based on the facts that i have which honestly it was a little bit of work here um, it's going to be kind of up to you what, what shape you put your weapon arrays in. I'm going to say, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that shape doesn't matter. However, comma, there is a point when making your shape too large becomes more effective on your mass than it does on your damage. Because if you look here, let's get back up in here for a second. 
like if you look right here, <coughs> um, if you look right here, my mass is at 15.3, which means I have 153 blocks. However, if I add 100 to each weapon array, that is going to increase my mass. It's going to make me slower. It's going to make me require more thrust, a whole nine yards. So, uh, I would have to say that larger weapon groups... Eh, this is my alarm. Uh, larger weapon groups are not going to give you quite the benefit that, that you may hope for in, in large, large, large quantities. You may actually be better off having smaller um, weapon groups. Like, let's see, at... At... Um, at 10, the speed is 23, which is an increase, basically, the, the very first the very first time, in my opinion, where you actually get a fairly decent number all the way around. You get 80 damage, 416 distance, uh, reload is 487. Now, even out at 20, my distance never got more than 470. And this is assuming, of course, that you've split all four of the attributes, 25, 25, 25, 25. So, I hope that helped you out. Um... You know, feel free to experiment around with that and find out what's going on with it. And let me know if you can create a single weapon array uh, like this that is uh, formidable in combat. All right, guys, you take care of each other, and I'll take care of me. So, <laughs> talk to you next time. Bye-bye.